Hello, everyone. My guest today is Manuel Hartman. He built the salesplaybook.io bootstrap from zero to 100 customers and $350,000 in annual revenue in less than two years to help committed B2B entrepreneurs selling deals grow annual revenues fast by hitting product marketing fit and scaling up their sales teams and specifically hiring uh, those sales reps in an effective way without wasting capital. Manuel, you ready to take us to the top? Sure. Okay. So just to be clear, this is not a SaaS product you're building, but I wanted to have you on because you're playing in the SaaS space aggressively. So tell me quickly, what, like the name a couple of SaaS companies that use you and what you did for them. Yeah. So SaaS companies typically come to us at a stage of having initial traction, uh, can be like five digit, uh, ARR towards growing to six digit ARR or already having a small sales team of typically one to five salespeople and wanting to hit this famous 1 million ARR and grow from there. Uh, we had these companies, for example, double MRR within three months, uh, go from five to 10 K average. Deal Can you size. name some of these manuals? So we have real examples. Yeah, for sure. Uh, one of them is called Wildflow bootstrapped entrepreneurs, uh, went to five digit ARR, uh, double that within three months after working with us. Uh, they've been in space of having five to 10 K average contract value. And basically after working with us closed 150 K ARR deal. And this um, is a overall. company called Wildflow. Wildflow. Got it. Can you spell it? Yeah, sure. Wow. Uh, w O W uh, F L O. Oh, Wildflow. Uh, dot org. Dot com. Got it. And, um, and how are they paying you? I mean, are you actually hiring their sales reps for them? No, we work in a sales acceleration, sales enablement model. So uh, we bring the best out of the coaching world and basically giving them the right assets in sort of a self-learning platform and uh, 40 plus actionable templates, how to define the ideal customer profile, uh, ramp up their call email campaigns and so on. And when did you launch this idea? We launched it in this format uh, early 2020. Company exists as such in the sales enablement space since February 2019. 19. Okay. And um, what, I mean, what got you into this? Why are you sort of qualified to do this for sales teams? Uh, before that, I built sales as the first business hire with the CEO of an AI startup uh, myself and just uh, learned that it's a lot different than if you do sales uh, for companies like Tesla, World Economic Forum, Accenture, and so on. Uh, because a lot of like the product market fit is not there, uh, the resources are not there, the brand is not there. And it's just a completely different beast to do it for um, an early stage B2B company. And I've seen like many uh, entrepreneurs struggle with this, like with amazing products, but uh, not having the knowledge and uh, kind of processes to do this effectively. So your middle plan called Grow, it's called Accelerator. It says go from 100K to a million annual revenues. And you basically can buy, I guess, five users for six or 12 months. And one of the things says get access to some of Switzerland's best B2B salespeople. What does that mean? Are those coaches or are they actually selling on behalf of the customer that's paying you? They, they are coaches. They're typically VP sales or co-founder of a startup themselves, quite frankly. Like these, these people are very tricky to hire as either they co-founder or like VP sales with equity or they sometimes working in an enterprise sales role and earning like 150 to 300 K and above. But they tremendously enjoy coaching founders in like some of their spare time and doing like two to 10 hours of coaching per week. Mm hmm. And, and how do you structure your fees? So if I wanted to use you, what would I pay you? You would pay typically like 5 to 10% of your annual revenues to grow by 100 to 400% annually. And that means typical like startup plans goes from like 500 bucks a month towards 5K per month. So if I'm paying you 500 bucks a month, you're going to help me go from like 10K in MRR to like 100K in MRR or something like that. Correct. Um, that's probably like more on the accelerate the model, but um, okay. it depends also how much you're investing. Mm -hmm. We have people that went booster kind of launch package and within one month, they revamped the whole websites, reach sharp the ICP, closed three deals. And we have people that go accelerate and don't put in the work and are a bit less successful as well. And so how many customers are you working with? Like last month, they paid you something. Last month, uh, around 30. To 30. 40. Okay, 30. And can I take 30 times 500? I mean, you're doing about 15 grand a month in revenue. Yeah, well, some of them are in larger tiers, such as accelerated and scalar. So MRR, if you want to put it that way, is probably around 25 to 30K right yeah, now. Yeah, well, I mean, the reason I ask is obviously, are you building a coaching business like this? You want to know what your future cash flow is going to look like so you can make hiring decisions yeah. yourself. And part of the challenge with this model is once you help a company grow, 
the churn is usually through the roof unless you can keep delivering new content, new coaches, new strategy. So what is your churn like and how do you try and keep customers longer? Yeah, excellent question. And our customer lifetime value was probably around four to six months uh, in 2020. And we're looking forward to basically double that in 2021. Uh, so we How? moved from typical, uh, we moved from three to six months engagement to six to 12 months collaborations. And we're getting more and more renewals as we like hit closer to the ICP and can deliver more value for these as well. But But I mean, how do you attribute though what you're delivering to the customer with their success. And what I mean by that is you can give them all the best coaching in the world, but if they don't have a salesperson to execute, they're not going to see growth yeah. or vice versa. You could be the best coach in the world, but if they have really talented salespeople that are closing, well, then it's growing and they're not going to give you credit. Yeah. Excellent point. I agree with your statement that you can only be as great as your customers. And what we see is it's like with reading, like the more we do, do work in a space, the, the better our customers become, like just regarding the fit, but also the quality of, of entrepreneurs that we able to work with. Um, regarding the sales talent sourcing, it's something we're working hard on right now to when we basically get people to a level where they need a, a bigger sales force, we actually able to source the talent for them and actually able to create that flywheel for them. The other part of people being really successful, we have people reaching out to us that already doing like five to 10 million revenue, but so like, we're confident we can make it happen, which is leaving a lot of run rate and time and trial and error on the table, which is why we'd love working with you on this to just avoid this process and be quicker. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you, I mean, why don't you go down and look at sort of this outsourced SDR model? There's a lot of companies in this space. Alleyoop, you know, was basically Zoom Info's Salesforce for a long period of time. Uh, Rev Genius is doing this. Is this a model you'd ever look at? Yeah, we look at it. Um, there's a few different angles on it regarding pure play lead generation, which there's literally tons in the market, also uh, out of countries that are uh, less, let's say, salary capital intensive than Switzerland, quite frankly. Um, to put them like as a sales force for people, we're looking to train people and basically give them and like, source them uh, to our, our customers. Um, it is tricky in these early stage companies to just put somebody there and basically say that, because these people ask, like, give me a script, give me the ICP and so on. And th this stuff is not there in the beginning, mm -hmm. which Got is it. why it's different than to do this for an established small and medium. medium I'm, I'm just saying it's, it's easier right. for you to attribute growth of the company if the rep is trained and on your payroll and they are selling for your customers. The, again, this is like demand zen, discovery, call sales partners, overpass, stable work. Like this is a very fast growing hit, convertus.com. But you're saying you would never want to go, you you wouldn't go down this road. Uh, never say never. We're looking to ramp up our own sales force right now. So I had our first uh, SDR going account executive six months ago. And we're ramping it up ourselves, probably learning quite a bit in the process. And the more people we train on that, also the more uh, basically the, the product gets better over time to do this. Mm -hmm. And have you bootstrapped uh, or raised capital? Bootstrapped. I love that. That's great. And were you profitable last year or no? Uh, yeah, definitely. That's uh, so great. 300, so we hit around 360K revenue from 90K in 2019, so plus 300%. I was the only FT until like August, then Colin joined and we have working with some freelancers and obviously that's the whole kind of SaaS sales stack and things around that and referral fees. Mm -hmm. Got it. And um, wh what do you think you can grow to this year? I mean, with all these extra pieces you're putting in place, can you break a million bucks? Uh, that's the objective. Yeah. And what do you think the key is to breaking that? Is it just signing up new customers? Uh, it's signing up new customers and figuring out delivery at scale because the people that are delivering the most value to our clients are typically not for hire, as discussed before. And uh, either like we heavily invest into kind of uh, building sales reps from ourselves who can become coaches uh, within a short period of time, or we're looking to basically like build a platform uh, to just basically have uh, more coaches on a platform who can deliver more value. Do you have any plans to raise capital or no? No. And, and what's your team size today? Our team size is literally like two people, like me and Colin, and we're looking forward to hire uh, probably like some more in the sales rep space, uh, but also potentially VP customer success and VP um, talent acquisition. Got it. Very good. And, and any plans? I mean, it sounds like you were doing sales in another company at an AI startup, then you launched this a couple of years ago in 2019. Would you ever go launch a new SaaS company yourself? 
Oh uh, yeah, I think this this would be tremendous fun. We're currently working on something in uh, the sales talent sourcing space, which could become that. Um, we built something around that at the end of 2019, acquired 100 users, zero revenue, uh, basically put it on hold, just as it was not hitting that kind of mark of being a must-have for companies. Mm-hmm. Describe to me what that thing does. Is, is, it like a, is it like a recruitment marketplace to hire salespeople or something or what? It is more uh, a better version of LinkedIn kind of jobs uh, in the sense of understanding a very specific market in this space. Switzerland for sales reps very in much in detail uh, what makes a good sales rep. So there's a lot of domain expertise for uh, an enterprise of like say a seven to eight digit revenue. Got it. Manuel, on that note, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, favorite business book? Uh, Naval Ravikant's Almanac, probably our speed of trust of uh, the ones I read in 2020. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Not CEO in my space, but more Thomas Dubendorfer of uh, Zictix, so one of the, kind of the super angels in Switzerland. Zictix? Yeah, um, Switzerland ICT Investors Club. Got it. Uh, number three, what's your favorite online tool for building the business? Uh, Google Suite does a lot of favors, and then it's a stack of LinkedIn Sales Navigator plus Interseller plus Jotform plus HubSpot. Manuel, how much hour, how much sleep are you getting every night? Uh, six to seven hours, roughly. And situation, married, single kids? Uh, married, 32, no kids yet. No kids. Okay, and last question. What's something you wish you when you were 20? That sales can be a superpower, enabling you to do pretty much as an entrepreneur what you want to do. And basically, like, sell enough to basically get the talent and get the tools that you need to build something to achieve uh, customer success. Guys, the sales playbook launched in 2019 to help SaaS founders sell faster. They did $90,000 in sales that year. They did 320000 in 2020. Now working with 30 SaaS companies, helping them grow their revenue and get their sales playbook going down the right path. The goal is to break a million this year. We'll see if they can do it. And maybe we'll see in the next 12 to 24 months a SaaS tool coming out of the agency Manuel's bit. We'll have to watch and see. Manuel, thanks for taking us to the top. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.